When a fighter jet can hunt ground targets at dawn, dual enemy aircraft at noon, and complete complex military operations by dusk, all without returning to base, you're looking at France's technological achievement in aviation, the Dassault Rafale. The Rafale story begins in the 1970s, when France recognized its aging Mirage fleet would need a successor capable of meeting 21st century operational requirements. Unlike most NATO partners who joined the Eurofighter Consortium, France boldly charted its own course. Dassault Aviation, the legendary manufacturer behind the Mirage series, began conceptual work in 1978 under the Avion de Combat Experimental program. By 1983, the project evolved into the Rafale program, French for gust of wind or burst of fire depending on interpretation. The first technology demonstrator, Rafael A, took flight on July 4, 1986, from Estris Air Base. This large-scale prototype proved the Delta Canard configuration and fly-by-wire controls that would define the production aircraft. Development split into naval and air force variants early on. The first production standard Rafael M for carrier operations flew in 1991, while the land-based Rafael C single seat and Rafael B two seat followed in the mid 1990s. The French Navy officially introduced the Rafael M in 2001 aboard the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, making France the first nation to operate a modern, fully multi-role carrier fighter outside of the United States. The French Air Force declared its first squadron operational in 2006, nearly three decades after initial design work began. This lengthy development period reflected France's commitment to technological independence. Every major system, from radar to missiles, was developed domestically to avoid foreign dependencies. The Rafale is a twin-engine, canard, delta-wing, multi-role fighter built around complete operational flexibility. Its close-coupled canards and moderately swept delta wings create exceptional maneuverability across all flight regimes. The aircraft measures 15.27 meters or 50.1 feet in length with a wingspan of 10.90 meters or 35.8 feet. It stands 5.34 meters or 17.5 feet high. These compact dimensions allow tight carrier deck storage while maintaining internal fuel capacity. Empty weight sits at approximately 10,300 kilograms or 22,700 pounds for the Rafale C with maximum takeoff weight reaching 24,500 kilograms or 54,000 pounds. This impressive thrust to weight ratio enables aggressive combat maneuvering. Two Snecma M88-2 turbofan engines power the Rafale, each producing 50 kilonewtons or 11,250 pounds of dry thrust and 75 kilonewtons or 16,900 pounds with afterburner. These engines feature advanced single crystal turbine blades and a compact design that minimizes infrared signature. Maximum speed reaches Mach 1.8 at altitude, approximately 1,900 kilometers per hour or 1,180 miles per hour, though operational speeds typically remain subsonic to conserve fuel and extend sensor range. The Rafale cruises efficiently at Mach 1.4 without afterburner, genuine supercruise capability. Combat radius varies by mission profile but typically ranges from 1,850 kilometers or 1,150 miles with external tanks. Ferry range extends to 3,700 kilometers or 2,300 miles. Service ceiling reaches 15,240 meters or 50,000 feet. The RBE-2-AA active electronically scanned array radar represents the Rafale's electronic brain, simultaneously tracking dozens of airborne targets while mapping ground threats. The Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite integrates radar warning, missile launch detection, laser warning, and active jamming into a unified threat picture. The Front Sector Optronic System combines infrared search and track with laser range finding for passive target engagement. 14 external hardpoints carry up to 9,500 kilograms or 20,900 pounds of ordnance. 
Air-to-air -air options include Mika infrared and radar-guided missiles for median range, plus Meteor ramjet missiles for beyond visual range engagement exceeding 100 kilometers. Ground attack employs AASM hammer precision-guided munitions, scalp cruise missiles, and Exocet anti-ship missiles. The internal 30mm GIAT DEFA 791B cannon provides close-in firepower. The Rafale can also carry the ASMPA nuclear standoff missile, maintaining France's airborne nuclear deterrent capability. The Rafale pioneered the Omni-Roll concept, true multi-roll capability where a single aircraft simultaneously handles air defense, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions during one sortie. Traditional multi-roll fighters switch between configurations. The Rafale operates in all domains concurrently. Its sensor fusion was ahead of its time, even predating some American fifth-generation fighters in this capability. The Spectra system doesn't just warn pilots of threats, it automatically deploys countermeasures, recommends evasive maneuvers, and even triangulates opposing positions using passive sensors alone. This allows Rafale pilots to locate and engage targets without emitting detectable radar signals. Moderate stealth features reduce radar cross-section through careful shaping, radar-absorbent materials in critical areas, and serrated panel edges. While not a dedicated stealth platform like the F-22, the Rafale presents a significantly smaller radar signature than previous generation fighters. The glass cockpit features wide area color displays and voice command systems, reducing pilot workload during complex missions. Helmet-mounted displays allow pilots to designate targets simply by looking at them. Advanced materials, including carbon fiber composites, reduce weight while maintaining structural strength. The airframe is stressed for plus 9 to minus 3.6 G maneuvers, enabling demanding turns that would affect most pilots before stressing the aircraft itself. The French Armed Forces remain the Rafale's primary operator, with the Air and Space Force flying approximately 140 aircraft and the Navy operating around 40 carrier-capable variants. These aircraft have accumulated over 45,000 flight hours across multiple operational theaters. The aircraft entered active service in 2002 over Afghanistan during international operations, providing reconnaissance and close air support. The 2011 Libya mission showcased the Rafale's versatility. French jets flew from both land bases and the carrier Charles de Gaulle, conducting precision strikes within hours of international authorization. Rafales participated in opening missions, engaging air defense systems with scalp cruise missiles. From 2013 onward, Rafales operated continuously over Mali and the broader Sahel region, supporting French and Allied forces in counterterrorism operations. The jets proved valuable for rapid response missions in challenging desert environments. Middle East operations intensified from 2014, with Rafales conducting precision strikes in Iraq and Syria as part of international coalition efforts. Egyptian, Qatari, and UAE Rafales joined these operations, marking the fighters' first multinational deployments. The Rafale achieved remarkable export success. Egypt ordered 54 aircraft, becoming the first non-French operator, followed by Qatar with 36 aircraft, India with 36 aircraft and options for more, Greece with 24 aircraft, Croatia with 12 previously owned aircraft, Indonesia with 42 aircraft, and the UAE with 80 advanced F-4 standard aircraft. This international success validates the platform's complete capability without foreign restrictions. Three basic production variants exist. The Rafale M features strengthened landing gear, a tail hook, and catapult launch fittings for carrier operations. The Rafale C single-seater serves as the standard Air Force fighter. The Rafale B two-seater maintains near-identical combat capability while adding a second crew member for training or complex mission planning. France operates a continuous upgrade program through numbered standards. F-1 provided basic air superiority capability. F-2 added full ground attack capabilities. F-3 introduced reconnaissance pods and improved weapons integration. F-3-R enhanced connectivity and helmet displays. 
The current F4 standard, entering service now, brings transformative improvements. Upgraded AESA radar with longer range, enhanced spectra electronic warfare, new connectivity for network-centric operations, upgraded cockpit displays, and integration of new weapons including 1,000kg AASM munitions. Perhaps most significantly, F4 adds combat cloud connectivity, allowing Rafales to share sensor data in real time with other friendly forces. An F5 standard is under development for service by 2030, promising artificial intelligence assistance, improved engines, and potential unmanned wingman control capabilities. Against contemporaries like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Russian Su-35, and Chinese J-10, the Rafale holds distinct advantages and limitations. Exceptional sensor fusion and electronic warfare capabilities often provide superior situational awareness. True carrier capability exceeds most competitors. Complete weapons integration without export restrictions gives French and allied operators maximum flexibility. Combat-proven reliability across diverse environments builds operator confidence. Relatively compact size suits confined basing requirements. However, the Rafale cannot match dedicated stealth platforms in low observability characteristics. Its engines provide good but not exceptional sustained supersonic performance compared to larger designs. The sophisticated systems demand extensive maintenance infrastructure. Unit costs approach newer generation pricing despite being classified as a 4.5 generation platform. Against American F-15EX or FA-18EF Super Hornets, the Rafale trades payload capacity for superior agility and electronic warfare. Against the F-35, it offers immediate availability, proven reliability, and no export restrictions in exchange for lower stealth characteristics. Rafale pilots describe an aircraft that works intuitively with the operator. The cockpit design allows rapid target designation, while the automated systems handle routine defensive measures. Voice commands activate system modes, freeing hands during critical moments. Two-seater operations typically pair an experienced pilot with a weapon systems officer who manages sensors, weapons, and communications during complex missions. This crew coordination proves valuable during simultaneous multi-domain operations. Maintainability balances sophistication with accessibility. While the advanced systems require skilled technicians, Dassault designed access panels and diagnostic systems for relatively efficient servicing. The M88 engines can be swapped efficiently, minimizing aircraft downtime. Carrier operations demand additional training and skill. Pilots describe night launches from moving decks as career-defining moments. Catapult acceleration while darkness offers limited visual reference. Recoveries require precision, catching arrestor cables on a deck that appears remarkably small at approach speeds. Deployed squadrons report high availability rates, often exceeding 75% operational readiness even during intensive operations, testament to robust design and efficient logistics planning. The Rafale should serve well into the 2050s, with continuous upgrades maintaining relevance against emerging challenges. France projects frontline service through at least 2070 for the newest airframes. The Future Combat Air System, a joint French-German-Spanish sixth-generation program, will eventually succeed the Rafale in the 2040s. However, development complexities may extend Rafale service life further than currently planned. International sales ensure production continues through at least 2031, with India likely ordering additional aircraft. This export success guarantees industrial support and upgrade development for decades to come. The Rafale represents what nations can achieve through independent technological development. France chose sovereignty over easy partnerships, emerging with a fighter that combines operational effectiveness, mission flexibility, and strategic independence. Whether launching from a carrier deck in challenging seas or conducting precision missions from austere airstrips, the Rafale delivers reliable performance. And this technological achievement shows no signs of obsolescence.